Hello everybody, it is JD here and welcome to today's No Money Spent episode. Today we are doing something that I'm actually reasonably excited to do, which I think I've said at all throughout this entire year. We are going to be going into draft. Now the only reason I'm excited for it is because the players you get now are a lot better, or so I've seen in before we get a trash draft. But I'm reasonably excited to see what type of team we make from draft today. We have also got moments of the week back again on this very weird and messed up first week of season number three. Um, we got no packs midweek, which means the only new players we are going to get every week are six players on a Friday, because it's eight-man set, obviously, but two or three of the cards are the same person, so there's only six new cards. Um, and, and then that's it. Uh, two takeover cards as well. And then maybe two moments cards. So 10 new cards per week. 10 new cards per week. There's thousands of NBA players. I don't know what 2K are doing at the moment. This season has not started off great. Uh, but we're going to see the draft changes that they made. Have they made an improvement on Season 3? Let me know down below your experience with the draft this season. Have you played it? Have you not even bothered? Uh, and the only reason I'm actually doing it is because of this. If it wasn't for this, trust me. I would not be bothering. But win three in a row, I mean, I don't even know if I can do that, but we'll give it a go. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the daily videos and check out facebook.com. That's the only crossover for the daily streams. Uh, XP we got new today, week one, part two. Which, to be fair, is for the same part that you get for three draft wins in a row, which just makes no sense. Like, how can you put week one, part two on the same level as three draft wins in a row? I don't know about that one. But anyway, uh, so we've got that. Um, the Sharif obviously dropped yesterday, and then we got Moments of the Week challenges, and these are, yeah, disappointing. So you get one random Hoff badge pack, and straight off the bat, I'm going to say, one of the worst things you can get in this game is a dupe cut, because he feels like you've just done something for, for nothing. So all 2K needs to do is make this a random option pick, so, you know, when you open it now, you get a random Hoff badge. Make it a choice of one of three random, or one of five random, just so it eliminates the possibility of getting a duplicate or severely reduces the possibility of getting a duplicate because you might get the three random ones and they're all duplicates, but at least that's better than just getting one. So that's something they could do for the Hoff badge to make that a little bit more uh, appealing. But anyway, let's start with these challenges. So 49 with Jason Tatum, 20 rebounds with Mitchell Robertson. Um, you must use Gary Trent Jr. in your lineup. Well done, 2K. But you need to make five threes with him. They still haven't updated that. 51 with Devin Booker, two threes with Jalen Williams, um, seven threes with Anthony Simons, 55 with AD, uh, triple double with Demontis Bonus, 28 with Tyus Jones, and 13 assists with the Series 1 Andrew Nemhard. Why you can't use the Diamond Nemhard? I'm not I, I, I'm not too uh, sure about that one. And as for the rewards, you get 60 tokens, 3,000 MT, a Sapphire card, which you will use to do the challenge in the first place, and a Ruby card, which you will use to do the challenge in the first place. Your reward will be a card that you've already got. Uh, and then six um, trophy case pieces, no pack this week, um, or five trophy case pieces, no pack this week. So, um, yeah, pretty bad and monotonous stuff for the moments of the week. Not too sure what they're thinking there, but hey, it's 2K, isn't it? This just, it is what it is at the moment. Um, and, and no re-ups of any Hoff badge exchanges, which I don't understand. Because the Amethyst one I did on Saturday, it should definitely be back now. It used to be every three days. So it might now be just once a week. Which would suck. Uh, before we go into a draft, we are going to be going into Unlimited in the not-too-distant future because clutch time online is nearly done. Yeah, that's right. We're nearly out of here, man. 20 wins to go. This team is disgracefully good. 20 wins left and clutch time online is done. Happy damn days. Then we're going to go into Unlimited. And obviously, we need a full team uh, for Unlimited. We've nearly got a full team. But there are just a few players that are one scoop up. So the first player we're going to pick up is going to be Giannis. Uh, obviously, you know, he's a god. And I also want to pick up a Dwight Howard, a dwigged, uh, glitched Dwight Howard. I think he'll be a really, really good addition to the team. And by the time we get into Unlimited, we will have Dark Matter Tim Duncan as well. So it will be Dark Matter Tim Duncan down here, Dwight here. Yanis here, and then that bench unit is absolutely ridiculous. Although to be fair, I might start, I might start Dwight and Yanis and have AD and Kareem off the bench. Maybe I don't know. God, that is a 
if we had those two players in, oh my goodness me, this team goes level. So they're the two that I'm thinking about. If there's any other players you want to see me try out or, or that you're using right now and are absolutely incredible, let me know. Magic right now is still my favorite card to use. If you haven't used Magic Johnson, try him out. Yes, he can't run, but he can behind the back and he can cross over. And that is literally all you need with this card. The behind the back is so broken, so glitchy. That's all you need. He is an absolute cheat code. I love that card so much. And I haven't used a Kobe yet this year. And I wouldn't mind using Kobe being Brian. Although he's half a million MT right now. So maybe not on that one. Right, let's go to the draft. Now, there's quite a few issues with the draft still, which we're going to talk about as we encounter them. Uh, but the first thing here, before we get into it, we get one draft ticket at the start of each season. Great. It's fine. After that, there's no way to earn a draft ticket. So you get one ticket every six weeks. That's a big problem. Last year, they used to be in the weekly uh, stuff. Uh, but obviously now, you know, trophy cases are everywhere. This is my trophy case, 2K23. Um, so yeah, they need to add in a way for tickets to be grindable. And then if you don't want to grind, or if you don't want to, or if you want to go into a draft after you won ticket, you have the option of either paying VC, which is a no-no, or 21,000 MT. 7,500 VC, or 21,000 MT. Which is not a like discrepancy that makes any sense. This pack is 11,000 VC and uh, 15,000 MT. There's only a 4,000 difference between the two of them. So how can you have the draft with a 14,000 difference between the two currencies? That just doesn't make any sense. That's not logical. So they need to make it cheaper. Um, that is uh, yeah, a massive uh, a massive problem with the draft. But hey, the player's meant to be better. And there's neon lights. I can't believe it's taken me this long to mention neon lights. You don't get to see it until you get to the... Um, the uh, essential board, of course. But uh, yeah, Draft's got Neon Light, so you know, we're the real winners out here. We have already found the next issue with this game mode. Why, in God's name, can I not flip all five cards? Why do I have to pick three to flip over, and then you show me the two that I missed out on? Like, ha, <laughs> get wrecked, noob, you didn't pick these two. Bet you wish you did. Why on earth are we not flipping all five cards here? Picking two just doesn't make sense. We're, or picking three... Doesn't make sense. We'll go uh, perimeter defense, uh, perimeter centric right there. So yeah, just let us pick this, and then it just shows us five cards. We shouldn't have to flip these anyway. It should just show us all five of the cards. Right, so the way the draft is now, if you don't know, it's one gem tier per pick. So this, all of these guys will be sapphires. All of these guys are dreadful. Uh, all of these guys will be sapphires, so those two will be sapphires. I would have taken sapphire Steph. If I knew he was there, shooting guards, we want to see diamonds and pink diamonds, please, and a thank you. Yes, diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Ooh. Ooh. By the way, that first pick was Dreadful Sapphires. Diamond Kobe Bean. Ooh, Zach Levine or Jalen Green. Six foot five, 95 dunk, 88, three, 81 defense, ain't great, 87 speed. Jalen Green, 89-3, 95 dunk, not a good defense, but quicker. Uh, Badges-wise, quick first step, limitless takeoff. Yeah, Jalen Green it is. Jalen Green and Kobe, uh, we missed out on Jason Richardson and MJ. I probably would have taken Kobe and MJ. No, I'm not mad at that. Small forwards, we saw a diamond. I need to see, the, we're in December, right? These should be all Amethyst and above. I shouldn't have got that first pick with Sapphires, but these should be all like Amethyst and above. Pink diamonds, there we go, that's what I'm saying. Oh, Hondo. Ugh, oh, it's like the Battle of Mid, isn't it? Uh, Jason Tatum, John Havlicek, and Richard Jefferson. John Havlicek, if I had him evoed, he would be a Galaxy Opal, but I don't own the card yet. Jason Tatum, I think, is going to be the pick here. I haven't actually used him, so we will take him. I've got Richard Jefferson. Uh, do I have Richard Jefferson? Oh, I don't have Richard Jefferson, but there's a reason... I don't have Richard Jefferson. Um, none too crazy. Hondo, 6'5". RJ, 6'7". Pre-Evo. Dreadful. We'll go Richard Jefferson. So Jason Tatum in. We missed out on me, Peja, and then Dominique. I probably would have just taken those two as it is. Okay, so we've got a diamond, we've got a pink diamond. That's what I need to see more of. We don't need to regress now. So we go down to Amethyst. That is, that is a regression. Uh, we'll take Lamarcus and Scotty Barnes. 
Miss out on Charles Oakley and Horace Grant. Probably would have picked those guys anyway. And then the center position. So we've got an Amethyst, a Diamond, a Pink Diamond, and a Sapphire. Don't tell me this is Ruby. Man. What what even is that? What even is that card? Phil Lambert and Kevin Duckworth. Oh, that sucks. So you really just get one pick. You get you get one sapphire, ruby, amethyst, diamond, and pink diamond. Three or five picks. Um That's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Now obviously you can change up positions. Uh we can move Jason Tatum to be the starting power forward. So we can get an extra pink diamond in there. Uh, but that's a little bit lackluster. But let's see what our fire pack is going to give us. I don't know what this gives us. I think it's just three random cards. Yanni? We get the diamond Yanni. Center. Not mad at that because, my God, we need a center. Really gay. And Zoe? And Gerald Green. Interesting. Interesting. So, I mean, like... Really? That's what you made the, the lineup to be? Oh, so my point guard is trash. Why am I player locked here? Oh, so my point guard is literally Sapphire Jameer Nelson. That is brutal. Oh, that's so bad. Um, Giannis obviously goes in at centre. Um, who's taller at Rudy Gay? Rudy Gay's 6'8". I think Jason Tatum is 6'8 as well. Okay, both 6'8". Who's got better rebounding out of these two guys? So Rudy Gay comes in 78 and 81. I think that's probably a little bit better than Jason Tatum's. No, it's actually worse. All right, so Jason Tatum goes in at the four. Rudy Gay comes in at the three. And I'm really... Uh, am I happy with that? I mean, uh, we're in December, and I've got to use Sapphire Jameer Nelson at point guard. Why are we doing... He's six foot tall, man. What's Darius Garland? Six foot one. It's an absolute disaster. We're in December. Why is that a thing? Oh, that sucks. Anyway, so that that's that's what the drafts look like. So they do look better than they have done previously. Absolutely, 100%. They are still a little bit lackluster. Again, like, we should not be having sapphires anywhere near the draft. Um, and we should be able to flip all five. But they are a lot better. It's just taken two years to get to this point. Then you look at the actual rules. So I'm not going to play this draft out to its completion. Because there's literally no point. The grand prize is, well, it's trash, but, like, it's a card I can get from Agendas anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. And the actual Ascension board itself, one, isn't a guarantee to get to the top, and two, the picks are so skewed towards those final two games, it's insane. So we will try and get three wins in a row, but after that, I mean, if I win three in a row, I will just leave the draft there and it can just die where it is. But I really don't want to play with a Sapphire point guard. So let me know down below your experience of the draft. Um, but yeah, that is... Um, is it better than I thought? Is it exactly the same as I thought? Is it worse than I thought? I think it's a little bit worse than I thought. Because I didn't know you only got one per position. Like one, one per draft. You know, I thought you might be able to get like two diamond picks. Or three pink diamond picks. Or two pink diamond picks. You know, but no, it's just one of each. So yeah... There's so many issues with the draft. They've tried. It's, it's made it better. Again, I'm not saying everything's bad. It has made it better. But we're two years into this draft mode now. And it's still not worth it at all. So, lots of work to do. Tomorrow, God knows what's going to happen on this game. Today was as much of a mystery as every other day. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it, everybody. We did our first draft. Let me know down below your experience of the draft this year. And uh, yeah, we'll get into that on stream tomorrow. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. And peace.